amorphous amorphous semiconductors amorphous semiconductors are semiconducting material which is not entirely crystalline they have only long range order in their structure uh, or we can say that in other words that disordered or glassy form of crystalline semiconductor they are non crystalline solids in which atoms and molecules are arranged in a definite lattice pattern they do not possess the long range translation order in the structure they have various practical applications for example chalcogenide glasses are widely used in television camera tube and for homogram recording because of their transparency to intra infrared radiation high resistance and high photosensitivity in systems consisting of an amorphous semiconductor film between two metals the rapid transition that is uh, switching of 10 to the power minus 10 second of the amorphous semiconductor from highly resistive state to a conductive state is possible when the applied voltage exceeds a threshold value of voltage amorphous semiconductors are also used in solar cells photocopiers flat panel displays etc amorphous semiconductors can be classified as tetrahedrally bonded amorphous semiconductors chalcogenide glasses and chalcogenide glasses are further divided into three categories pure chalcogenide nitrogen chalcogenide and tetragon chalcogenide so you can understand the difference between amorphous solids and crystalline solid with the help of this table amorphous solids uh, do not have definite geometrical shape whereas crystalline solids have characteristic geometrical shape amorphous solids are a short range order whereas uh, long range order is found in the crystalline solids or crystals amorphous solids do not have sharp melting point that means they are softened in a range of temperature whereas crystalline solids melt at sharp temperature amorphous solids undergo irregular breakage that is do not break at fixed cleavage planes whereas crystalline solids uh, have cleavage along particular direction at fixed cleavage planes amorphous solids are isotropic isotropic means the properties will be depend independent of direction in which they are measured that is physical properties are same in different directions whereas crystalline solids are an isotropic uh, that means physical properties are different in different directions amorphous solids are less rigid whereas crystalline solids are more rigid example of amorphous solids are chalcogenide glasses teflon naphthalene polyvinyl chloride polyurethane etc whereas crystalline solids examples are copper potassium nitrate benzoic acid etc however silicon is a common solid that can be found in both forms that is in amorphous as well as crystalline form depending on how it is manufactured silicon is much harder to grow and usually used in computer chips amorphous silicon is much cheaper and easier to grow and is commonly used in solar panels uh, this is uh, the structure of crystalline silicon sio2 and this is amorphous sio2 so silicon can be used as either amorphous or in crystalline form these are the references